Monday or no, it's Tuesday, July 21st and the packing has begun. Here she is. Um, this was done a little while ago, like three, four days ago. I don't even know, something like that. But we have all these stacks of clothes that are fresh out of the washing machine and ready to be packed. So she gonna go in there. Yep. Thanks for a nice 17 years. Happy 17 years.
Nothing shows so possible. Hi, I realized I never did like a talking segment throughout this vlog. Excuse the pimples, they're so bad from the plane. But um, we're here now, we're out of customs and everything like that, the whole quarantine section. It's so sour! Oh my gosh! Okay, anyway, um, we're going to baggage claim now. Wow, the pimples really screaming, but... There was a cute guy on the plane, and he's a UT swimmer, but we did some stalking, and he wasn't on the team list, like on the internet, and so he might have already graduated, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but he was cute, so, yes. We're in the taxi. <laughs> We're in the taxi right now. We're going to first the health center to get tested and then we're gonna head to our our place for the next two weeks. Now I'm at the testing center and this test, guys, oh my gosh, it was so uncomfortable. I thought, like, I, I was preparing myself mentally. I was like, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be fine. It's just like 10 seconds, no worries. It felt more than 10 seconds. Like, I literally thought I was gonna die. He like shoved it down my nose and like, like, I, mm, I don't even know. But like, it's done, it's over with. I get the results either today or tomorrow. So we shall hope for the best, a negative. <laughs> My aunt left us some pudetjige, so nice of her. And I think this is some rice. Here I am in my most tired state. And just look at that pimple. I just wanna pop it so bad, which I will after I shower. So I think first we're gonna eat because it's time, it's past dinner time. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna shower and I'm gonna eat some cocoa balls. <laughs> Our first meal with it's okay to not be okay. Currently like five I think and this entire day it's been raining on and off like literally not even 20 minutes ago it was like pounding down with rain and there was like sirens and like what are those like announcements saying like it was flooding in certain places and then now it just stopped so this is monsoon season for you very insane but in other words i took a shower finally and then i got ready and i look like a person now and i look alive but um, my aunt came by and dropped off some more food. So she got some hot dog for us. It's still warm. So I think I'm gonna eat this like right away. We also got some chips because there's like no like snacks to eat besides the cereal. And I don't wanna keep eating cereal, you know? So we have the potato chips, sour cream and onion, and we have yegum, which I love. So we also got Ramyun because there wasn't any when we came. So we have noguri and tapaguri to make tapaguri, and then we also have snack meal, which is my favorite freaking ramyun ever. Actually, it's just one of the top three, you know. We have um salong tang right here that my sumo dropped off, and there's something else. Oh the gakdugi and kimchi to go with it so i'm very excited to eat dinner for now i'm gonna be editing i got my hot dog 
right here. I'm excited to eat. It is a sunny but gloomy morning. It's sunny on this side, I guess, but the clouds over here are still a little gray. Um, it's like 11.50 something, or it might be 12. But regardless of the sun right now, it will start raining again pretty soon. That is what monsoon season is. So, yep, that's that. Currently 4.54 and my cousins, four of them, came by um, the balcony and we just talked for a bit and they also dropped off some food. Um, we got scones and then there's this little dip. I don't know what it is. It's probably just like buttercream or something and then there's strawberry jam and then we also have macarons in here so i'm excited to eat that but that was also a very nice time just talking with them in front of the balcony like it's literally we just opened this and talked it was very fun but now we're just gonna eat these snack on those for a little bit and i'm also gonna edit my video so yes okay these are the macarons and they're so cute and weird like there's a cracker in between this one and this one's just normal but like look at that that's so cute and then this one is like tie-dyed with purple frosting or filling that's so cute i love it and i guess the store is a place called tardaran shigan but not quite sure, but I'm super excited to eat this. Oh my gosh, it's sunny for the first time like ever this week. Oh, look at her, she is shining. Oh my god, wow! Yes. So as you just saw, my cousins, my little cousins just stopped by and my aunt asked me what I wanted to eat and that's the pizza! Honestly, this is pretty standard, like I could get this in America, but Korean pizza just hits different, I don't even know why bro. Like it's Papa John, but it's made in Korea. Yeah, so it's just better, okay? And then we have tida and warm milk because we need that for cereal. But I am excited to eat this. Dinner today, we have some sushi. This is salmon, as you can see. And my aunt, another aunt, brought it for us from a place that we go to and this is so good like the salmon is unmatched and then we also got udon but here is how it came packaged so it's in this little thing majig and then you take the top off and the what is it called the soup is in the bag and then the noodles itself is all on the bottom so very interesting but we're gonna get eating once again our sumo brought us food and it is delivered like this as well also have kimbap <laughs> wow it's what? cake with blue and we have our pudding Mm. 
<웃음> no think. 그러니까 이제 그 거울을 설치해 주는 건가 봐. 맞아요. 그래서 음, ignore my appearance, but let me update you guys on the cases right now because some people decided to not follow. Well, there's not really restrictions anymore in Korea, but. Obviously, like we still have to be careful and kind of like common knowledge to just wear masks around when you're out and stuff. But like everywhere is completely open. You can eat in cafes and restaurants and just like sit and chill there for a long amount of time. Just like social distance as much as you can. But this past weekend, there were a lot of cases rising because it's a holiday weekend and so a lot of people are out and not wearing masks for a, like a good chunk of time and also there was this like gigantic like political like a march i don't even know in front of kwangamun and it was crazy they were like two million people there and obviously that is not okay in the time right now and it was also raining so like i don't even know why people want to go out because of all of that there have been cases just rising like so fast and we are back at level two so basically we have to social distance and there can only be a certain amount of people in like cafes restaurants stores and whatever stuff like that they only allow a certain amount of people so we're back at level two and we haven't been in a while but now today like my mom literally just told me two seconds ago that um there have been already like 270 something cases like in our area and it's only the first half of the day so um if there's that many cases positive cases already then we're almost about to go to the third level basically is what i'm trying to say so there is a little possibility that i may not be attending like in-person classes they might move to all online but that's not the situation in intone right now like this is just our neighborhood like this district i guess you can say i don't know what's gonna happen with like school and stuff but that's what's happening right now in korea with the cases and yada 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 so we're back at level two in other words um it's what day is it today it's the 16th and that means i leave in two days i basically have like one day because the last day of quarantine is just up until 12 p.m so that is when i'm gonna start a new vlog because that'll have the whole like moving in process which is very exciting but i'm also kind of stressed because there's a lot of things i need to get done on that day once i'm out of quarantine like i have to do bank stuff i have to do phone stuff and those are like really complicated you know and so that's what i have to do right once i get out of quarantine and then i have to go all the way in ton and do the whole moving in process and that weekend i'm also going to come back home to seoul and hang out with my family both sides of the family for the weekend and then i'm gonna have to go back up to Incheon or go back down to Incheon and then start school so yes. i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because there's nothing else really to show for the last two days but that's it
thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed my first vlog and um <laughs> subscribe for more <laughs> subscribe for more content because i'll give it i will hand it out to you i'm excited so yeah